back in like 2010, this was considered peak fear. <laughs> yeah, with this video, I'm doing something different. I'm not covering games, I'm covering videos. To be honest though, this is just a creepypasta review with most of the talking points being the videos based off it. Not like you care about the technical stuff though. You just want to see me make fun of whatever the hell this crap is, don't you? Well, I mean, who am I to refuse, huh? Suicide Mouse is a creepypasta about Mickey Mouse walking down a street. But, like, there's scary things that are happening, like screaming and... Uh... Beethoven. Yes, it sounds very scary, but the scariest thing here is the fact that I'm covering this 12 years late. Everyone else has already covered this years ago. There's a survival guide, a sorta riff, and a Markiplier Let's Play. What the full on wait, what, what is this? Hello everybody, my name is Markiplier and welcome to Let's Play Suicide Mouse. Is this a game? What? Whatever though, I don't care that everyone else already covered it because I haven't talked about it yet. I think I'm like the only person talking about Creepy pastas anymore, and even then, it's like once a year. So, Suicide Mouse is a story about this spooky Mickey Mouse cartoon that was made. The pasta says nothing about why whoever made it made it. I heard people commonly say that Disney went insane and made this, but it says nothing about that in the actual pasta. So, it's probably just the good old Mandela effect, you know? Basically, the plot of the story is that this person who is in charge of converting all of the old Disney cartoons into digital files found this creepy video thing, decided to digitize it because it was a creation of Walt, and that's the only time Walt's name is even mentioned, by the way. It found out that um, it's fairly long, being 9 minutes and 4 seconds. He wanted to watch it, but um, couldn't finish it because he was too spooky. Apparently, Mickey walking down a street is scary. Anyway, after he left the room, because it was too scary, he sent in another employee to finish it up and take notes about what happens in it. However, that employee came out of the room super scared forever. Also, there's a security guard there, I guess because there's always a security guard outside of a Disney cartoon viewing room. I don't know. And so the employee that got super scared committed neck rope, but like with a gun, with, with the security guard's gun. I can't believe you committed suicide. I cannot believe you committed suicide. How could you have done this? How could you have committed suicide? Okay, that's about it when it comes to the story. It's kind of dumb, but it was 2009, so the standards were lower. I feel like I'm being mean, but I mean, the video seems pretty tame. I don't know what the hell is up with these people. Anyway, now that I've summarized the story, let's get to the real meat of this video. Considering the central point of interest in this story is the spooky, scary skeleton of a video, obviously fans of the creepypasta with varying degrees of talent created recreation videos that pass themselves off as the original footage. I have five of those videos here, and now I'm going to mainly mock, but at least try to review these videos because I have nothing better to do today. First, let's look at this one, which I'm pretty sure was the first one of these Suicide Mouse recreation videos to be made. Okay, so the immediate thing that sticks out to me when looking at this video is that it looks like shit. You could at least make Mickey look like Mickey. What the hell is this thing supposed to be? It's almost like they took a sprite of Mickey walking from some Mickey Mouse game, redrew it to not look pixelated, and then just moved the legs and head to give the illusion that this thing has life and is actually moving. This looks nothing like Disney's style. Now, because the main purpose of this video, when all of the other videos in this video are to simulate the video that was actually read in the pasta. I'm gonna be using quotes from the pasta that describe the video to see how accurate these videos actually are. Spoiler alert, none of them are accurate. To give you an example of what I'm talking about, in the pasta, it describes Mickey in the cartoon as walking as if you or I were walking. I don't walk like this and I'm willing to bet neither do you. Also, I can't make out any facial details whatsoever, so anything in the story that mentions his face doesn't particularly apply here. But Dicky isn't the only thing here assaulting my eyeballs. What are these buildings exactly? First of all, these textures are... No. These textures don't even look producible by hand. They look like someone dicked around in the texture effects in Adobe. And also, I can't forget about these perfect squares for windows here. 
how the freckle dickle. Also, what the hell is happening here at the bottom? Never mind the fact that the whole video seems to be inside of a box. Whenever this background image moves and loops or whatever, it seems like whatever piece of paper these background images are on moves out of frame and we get to see whatever's below the piece of paper that has these buildings on it. Even though surely this is digital and I can't think of a reason as to why that would be intentional. Also, what's this thing at the very bottom supposed to be? How is this video even made? As for the music in this video, Kind of iconic at this point or i mean it was probably at the very least the first few notes if you can call them that hold lots of nostalgia for me back when i was a tiny person and i found out about this for the first time uh, when i probably shouldn't have Anyway, this lovely piano music goes on for 70 seconds until the audio engineer gets tired of the pianist sticking around and cuts off the audio or some shit on it. Why is there static in this cartoon? This is the 30s or whatever, and also a film, like on film. Why would it have, why would it, why would it have static? Okay, so after a while, the screen cuts to black, but like the video couldn't even get that right. You couldn't cut to black properly. Then like in the story, it stays black for a while and then comes back. However, it's the fifth minute instead of being the sixth. I honestly wish I could see this video's retention time just to see how many people who watch this video skip the black screen part. At this point in the video, there's some dumb noises in the background down. Sounds like someone taking a really bad shit, but depending on what time of day you watch this video in, your emotions toward it may change. Like right now, I'm in a library at 5 p.m., so the only thing I'm worried about is people seeing what I'm watching. However, if it was like 2 a.m. or something and I was watching this alone in the dark in my room, I'd probably be a little bit disturbed. Also, there's this very subtle wave effect on the film, which was totally true to the time. They could definitely do that 90 years ago with film editing tools. As this film progresses, we can hear some audio building up. and the payoff is just some stock woman screaming. Insert some other shitty joke about this being the 30s here or whatever, I don't fucking care. That's like the worst beat drop ever. You just wait a while and then it's just also, again, the timing is wrong. It's supposed to be on the seventh minute, but here it's on the sixth. Also, I find it funny how in the story they have exact times of when things happen, even though nobody wanted to watch it, and one guy killed himself doing so. But yeah, they totally went back a few seconds to confirm the timings of everything. I mean, you could say that's what they were in there to do, but I feel whatever psychological effects this cartoon already doesn't have wouldn't be as strong if you're pausing and rewinding the film a bunch to write down timings every time something of note happens. Oh boy, the background was sneezed on. Well, I guess that's the drawback of cell animation, I guess. Yes. Dear God, this is getting exhausting. Okay, let's try going a little faster. <laughs> At some point, Mickey goes backwards for no reason, and then his eyes do like a funny thing. The whole cartoon changes, and it looks like he's going fast for a reason I can't really find. Oh man, I love that flash of white when the footage loops. At this point, I can't even tell if it's intentional or not. Some kind of noise starts playing over the scream that I can't make out. <laughs> Kinda sounds like the Night 5 phone call in the Spooky Bear game, but I don't know what the correct answer is, so fuck it. <laughs> There's a line in the pasta that says the sidewalk started to go in directions that seemed impossible, but I guess not because shit just keeps getting wavy. Also, while I'm on the topic, after that line in the pasta, it says the dismal face of the mouse was slowly curling into a smirk. Mickey doesn't even have a mouth. Also, these are supposed to happen before the woman's screaming. I don't know how the video maker person missed all of this stuff. Eventually, something starts getting ghosted over the footage. 
what it is. I don't know. I'm just hoping it isn't snuff shit, though. I find it interesting how this used to be classified as scary content. Nowadays, scary creepypasta crap is either really high effort or actual garbage. If this creepypasta was made today, the fan creations would either be perfect Disney quality recreations or fucking 3 a.m. videos. Oh man, dude, now it's real wavy. Hell yeah. You gotta love how the waviness goes outside the aspect ratio. Okay, hold on. Let's go back to the story and grab another quote. The buildings became rubble, floating in midair, and the sidewalk was still impossibly navigating in warped directions. A few seeming inconceivable with what- Ah, oh, god f A few seeming inconceivable with what we, as humans, know about direction. Yeah, um, this video is pretty much the gist of what is described in this story which is to say that it's wrong. The buildings there really become like floating midair rubble and the street doesn't contort in endless directions or whatever. This is the most that really happens. Hello waves, hello waves for everyone. Also gotta love how we get another stock woman scream beat drop. Okay, now the creator of the video is just fucking with us. Alright, we finally made it to the end of the video. The torture's finally over. I guess this is what the creator of the video interpreted as the ending Mickey face. Whatever this is supposed to be, I guess. Why is he moving like that? Is he walking in place? His head didn't move like that when he was walking before. And then there's supposed to be some, like, super scary foreign language text here at the end of the video, but... It's not here. Also, in other versions of the video, there's, like, a guy in, like, a bathrobe that comes in on the screen. That's not in the story, but it's in like the other videos it's, and it's not here for some reason. However, that stuff is in another video that seems to have taken footage from this video. So we'll talk about it then, I guess. And there we go. That's finally the end of Suicide Mouse.avi video number one. Uh, this video is quite stupid. However, I won't deny that it is kind of interesting. It is unnerving and disturbing in a way. The sounds, the lack of color, and the eventual screaming, even if it is stock, are kind of disturbing a little bit. And the fact that this video managed to creep people out or scare people or whatever without jump scares, just with disturbing imagery alone, is kind of impressive. I'll definitely give this video some props. It is a nice time capsule of the internet. However, I don't find it scary anymore. I find it more stupid, if anything, and I won't repeat the points I already made about that. All right, that's one video done. But we can't just have one video based off of creepypasta, because then the creepypasta would have some level of believability and basis in reality to it. So we got some more to look at. Frick yeah. Sorry. I meant fudge yeah. <laughs> Whenever people think of Suicide Moosey Woo, the two videos that people either think about is the one we just looked at or this one. And oh my god, this video actually looks somewhat decent. Mickey actually looks like Mickey at the time, and Mickey in general, instead of looking like a dead fly. The buildings look like actual buildings instead of a black and white shit texture. Though with that being said, this cartoon certainly hasn't been well preserved. Jesus, the film dirt. Uh, tearing? I, I, it's probably just deterioration, I don't fucking know. What I find weirder though is like the film deterioration doesn't change every frame, the animation changes. It's out of sync for some reason. And speaking of things that are out of sync, look at Mickey's feet compared to how the background is moving. Sloppy. Speaking of Mickey here, first of all, he still doesn't look like if you or I were walking. He looks like he's trying to find his contacts and doesn't want to trip and fall. But second of all, and more importantly, this is just a loop of Mickey walking across the bridge in The Mad Doctor. I just destroyed this video's entire credibility. As for the accuracy of the rest of this video, when the footage blacks out for the first time, it comes back on the sixth minute, like it says in the pasta. And the ending actually has the Mickey face and the super scary foreign text in it. It also has this clip I mentioned earlier where the guy comes into the room with a bathrobe, which, believe it or not, I unironically consider the most disturbing and creepy part of this video, though it's not in the creepypasta, so... <laughs> anyway, I also wanted to mention that I think this Russian text in the bathrobe guy came from an alternate version of the first video we looked at, because this thing at the bottom that I mentioned earlier is also in this part of the video, but it's only in this part of the video, and it's also also in the previous video, but like the whole time. Anyway, yeah, that's all I have to say about this stuff. Anyway, back to the whole accuracy to the original story thing. Aside from the timings of stuff and the Mickey face thing at the end, nothing else is really that accurate in this video either. Mickey isn't walking like how a 
person would walk like I mentioned earlier. This video is 9 minutes and 44 seconds instead of being 9 minutes and 4 seconds. And all of the crazy shit from the story like contorting streets and buildings floating in the air and like random shapes and shit doesn't happen or at least not to the intensity that the story says the order of events that happens when the footage comes back in this video goes as follows we see mickey smile while the scream is screaming then after a while the footage starts looking like it's in a cone and then the background does this motion blur thing to make it look like mickey is speed incarnate but like backwards or something. Then the film gets shittier looking and shittier looking as the video gets more cone-like and some footage of gross-ass real people gets ghosted over the footage like in the last one. Then we get the music box and the Mickey face. Only it looks like total shit because of the whole screen distortion thing. And yeah, that's pretty much all of note in this video. It's like the last one, but it looks more appealing to the eye depending on how much you can tolerate this film dirt. Yeah, this video is better, but it's pretty much the same. It just looks cleaner and less like whatever the fucking fuck this shit is. Seriously, this looks like it was made on Flipnote or something. Like, why does this video look so bad? It's technically better, but it's really just a remaster of the previous video. It looks like an actual Disney thing, but it's still the same video at its core, which is stupid and not really that scary. Yeah, seriously, the only way I can see this being scary is if you watch this at full blast in the middle of the night. And even then, it's not gonna scare you. It's just nine minutes of shit that vaguely resembles things that creep people out. It's not that accurate to the story. However, to be fair, I'm not particularly sure how you would be completely accurate to this weird-ass description the story gives of the animation. Plus, I guess if it was completely accurate, suicide rates would go up by, um, uh, the millions. So maybe the fact that this isn't accurate by 100% is good. So yeah, the most I have to say about this is at least it looks like an actual old cartoon from the 30s for the most part. Unlike our next video. This video is arguably the least convincing, not only because Mickey, well, looking better than this still looks nothing like the actual Disney style. And also the fact that he remains in the same spot with just his legs moving and his head bobbing, which really annoys me. No, this cartoon is the least convincing, mainly because there are not one, not two, but three whole watermarks over top of this cartoon. Thank you so much, Gorix videos. I don't know why this one just says Gorix, Gorix, while the other ones just say Gorix videos. I also don't know why there's three watermarks. Like, you didn't think we got the point the first time. Plus, I looked at this guy's name and the only results are re-uploads of the video, so I'm assuming his channel has been either deleted or he wasn't on YouTube to begin with, so... Rip in peace, I guess. I mean, I guess this video is actually animated instead of reusing assets from other Disney cartoons or doing whatever this is. Anyway, to the video. Not only is it not accurate because it has a ton of watermarks on it, which the original cartoon certainly didn't have, but this one is also the least accurate when it comes to timing so far. The video isn't 9 minutes and 4 seconds, the video comes back after the black screen far too early, and the scream also comes way too early as well. The buildings in the background start getting slowly destroyed, which I guess is more accurate to the buildings being rubble or whatever than in the previous, but they aren't floating. There also isn't really any distortion to the frame. I'm talking about their waviness. So while the older videos didn't really display what the story describes as sidewalks going in impossible directions or whatever, at least you could interpret the waves as kind of like that. Here, there isn't even anything you could interpret like that. It's just the buildings in the background getting destroyed. Also, there's no colors or whatever it says here. So yeah, this video is the least accurate yet, but how's the actual video? Well, as time goes on in the cartoon, Mickey's face gets worse for wear. That's something, I guess. The background kind of subtly changes as time goes on. That's kind of cool. After a while, he starts going real fast. Look at him go. And then at the end of the video, Mickey dies and a syringe thing falls out of him or something. Then there's this really cringeworthy jump scare where, like, Satan or someone like that just appears a few times and then goes away with a spooky noise that's meant to give you the jump. Then the film gets slightly darker and... And then there's Mickey head. Wait, this. What? Also, there's Russian text at the bottom of the Mickey head instead of being its own frame, which was a deliberate choice made by uh, Gorix, which I find weird because now it's 
less accurate to the story. Oh, and by the way, I haven't mentioned this yet. The spooky Russian text is supposed to say, the sights of hell bring its viewers back in, in case you were dying to know what this text said. I actually don't know what the text at the end of these videos is actually saying, but I can definitely tell you that's what it's supposed to say. So if anyone who understands Russian is actually watching this video, can you let me know if the text actually says what it's supposed to? Because it'd be pretty embarrassing if the text at the end of the videos was also wrong. Anyway, this video was yeah, it isn't that accurate to the story's descriptions at all, but at least it looks better than the first video. Good job, Gorex videos, Gorex, Gorex, Gorex videos. <laughs> Jesus, there's so many of these videos. Okay, so here's another fucking mouse video. This isn't even the last one. Please help me. Oh my giddy gosh goodness. Do my ears deceive me? The piano banging in the background sounds different. Holy crap, this video isn't just the same audio with new visuals slapped over it. How like you... Uh, how like you... Why is hallelujah spelt like that? Although, speaking of the visuals, this one looks rather yikes to me. I don't even know what that means, but I said it, so there's no going back now. Neither Mickey nor the background looks that good, let alone like an actual Mickey Mouse cartoon. But I mean, you, you know, at least it's better. Than also, in the latter half of the video, instead of a low murmur or whatever this is supposed to be, and then a stock scream. The sound instead resembles the inside of a marketplace or a school cafeteria. Oh, and also, the rest of the video isn't that accurate either. Obviously, at the end, there's a lack of impossible contorting streets or floating rubble buildings or whatever, like all the other videos. But also, again, the timing is all off and things are just flat out missing. The video is nine minutes and 12 seconds. It comes back before the six minute mark. The audio after the video comes back stays the same the whole time. Like I said, there's no poop sounds or screams. It's just noise. So nothing happens on the seventh minute. Near the end of the video, the most that happens in terms of video is Mickey gets a smile and shit gets wavy. It's honestly even more bare bones than the Gorex video. There's no ghosting. He doesn't go backwards or supersonic hyper speed fastness. It isn't really that scary, nor is there anything thrown at you to make it seem scary. And this isn't how you or I would walk. Can I just get one video that's accurate to the story? Not just in the building rubble and in possible directions. I'm sure that'd be possible to animate or at least animate in a way that would be recognizable as an attempt to be like how the story describes. But can we also just get a video where the timing is accurate? I'm sure it isn't that hard to make a video that's nine minutes and four seconds, make the video come back from black at the six minute mark, make all the weird things happen between that and the seventh minute, and then cue the scream at the seventh minute. I know it seems kind of small, but it's so annoying to me because this isn't even a thing that they should get wrong. The pasta describes the video in so much detail that it makes the pasta seem stupid. What is the point of making a video based on a story that describes a video and you don't even try to make the video accurate to the story? It's like these videos were made because they wanted to animate Mickey walking down the street or because other videos exist and they might as well throw theirs into the pile as well. It's seriously like they didn't actually read the pasta. They're just basing their videos off the first video. Video, which is also inaccurate in some places. This video isn't that good. None of these videos are really that good. They all have problems that have to do with a failure to properly adapt what they're adapting accurately, and that's kind of embarrassing considering how simple of a concept this video is. This is honestly getting exhausting. You can only say that these videos that don't really have any excuse being inaccurate to the source material are inaccurate to the source material and also aren't scary and are really stupid so many times before you go insane. Honestly, I don't even think I'm joking there. Do you know the definition of insanity? It's doing the exact same fucking thing over and over, expecting shit to change. I mean, at least this video is kind of different, I guess. Even the Russian text is kind of different looking. Why does the text keep changing throughout the videos? It says what it's supposed to say in Russian in the pasta. This is one of the few things I expect to stay the same between the videos. Thank God there's only one more video left. I'm kind of regretting even starting this video. I did not expect to not like these videos as much as I am now. Please, final video, give me something to talk about that has nothing to do with you being inaccurate. <laughs> Okay, so it turns out there's two different versions of this video. One of them is age-restricted. Uh, 
for some reason. <laughs> and the other one isn't, and it's also shorter, but th the end is also slightly different a little bit. I've seen both videos, and I expected the age-restricted one to have something bad in it, but I'm not even kidding. I'm not exaggerating when I say it's, there's nothing here that would get it age-restricted. My best guess, and this is legitimately my best guess. It may sound like I'm joking, but it's not. My best guess is because it's the scream. Stick with me on this. Sometimes I lose my earbuds, and I can't find them anywhere, but they're still connected to my phone. So, I play like really really loud sounding videos t to help me find my earbuds and for some reason those videos are also usually always age restricted i can only assume because they don't want to damage children's ears and they think age gating it will fix the problem and so i assume the scream in this video was loud enough to trip whatever triggering feature youtube has to age restrict the video that's my best guess it's not a joke, it's legitimately what I think. <coughs> okay, let's talk about the video now. Why would it say Walt Disney Home Video at the start of this? This isn't, uh, this wasn't released, that's the whole point of the video. Also, I just realized that this isn't accurate. Well, it looks like my lifelong dream of having a video of this stupid story that's at least accurate in this timing will never come true. Well, I'm almost done. I might as well actually watch the video to see if there's anything of note aside from the horrible inaccuracy it's already presenting me with. Okay, let's go. Okay, so after the beginnings of the video, which is just a bunch of stuff added by whoever re-uploaded this because the other age-restricted version of this video also has a different opening for some reason. I don't, I don't understand why people do it. The video begins with uh, a title card. I guess, I mean, maybe that would happen. It wasn't described in the story, but like, I mean, I, that might be a nice, I don't know. Anyway, then we get to the walking. Holy shit. Oh my God. This actually looks really good. It looks fairly accurate to Disney style at the time. Mickey is actually centered in the frame for once in his goddamn life, which I didn't even mention in the previous videos. And while I don't walk with my hands behind my back, at least he's walking in a similar way that you or I would walk. I can't see myself looking like an idiot in public if I were to imitate how this Mickey walks in Lay Funny Skit. Congratulations, video number five. You did a good. I mean, it's still a little fast and stiff, but at least it's not total shit or really stupid so th there's something i guess the music is also original and isn't just the same as the beginning three videos that's fun i'm actually enjoying this all right the video went black let's fast forward to get back to the video we already know this video isn't accurate at all so you know we might as well just talk about the video itself all right, so when we come back, we got the distant screams or whatever it's supposed to be, but instead of being someone on the toilet, it's Solid Snake. All right, then at some point, Mickey goes backwards and... Uh, what the shit balls? I don't even know if my what the shit balls is referring to the visuals or the scream that sounds a lot more... Uh, hmm. All right, so let's see if I can describe this. Mickey seems to be all distorted and stuff. His smile is like a thick. <laughs> he has no eyeballs. His walk cycle isn't proper anymore. Background seems to have been half erased. Okay, so now the background's completely disappeared. Uh, that's, that's cool. Mickey's still doing his thing. Oh, and that's the end of the video. Uh, okay. Um... Okay, well, I just remembered that I am able to record videos off of YouTube with my, uh, re recording software, so let's go check out what that video has in store as well. Ah, uh, ah, uh, mm, hmm, ah, uh, okay, hmm, ah. Uh. Mickey lost some weight. Also, as the footage goes, the background becomes shittier looking and more distorted, which isn't accurate to the story, but... At this point, it's kind of freaky, so I'll take any emotion other than annoyance at this point. Honestly, though, these two videos are kind of disturbing. I mean, you could also find it stupid. Like, what the actual fuck is this? Why does he have, like, twig arms and legs? And why does the other one have big, thick smile and no eyeballs? It's still not accurate to the story as well, so, you know, I, I can't, it can't, it's not perfect. But I find this video easily the most disturbing out of all of them, and the most possible to scare someone genuinely. And there's the Mickey face, although I don't know why the music is different than... The 
the other video. Also, again, the Russian text looks like it's different than the other ones, as in, like, it looks like different words. Okay, that's it. I don't care anymore. I'm done. Yeah, I don't like this pasta at all. I remember having far more positive memories of this pasta and its videos before writing this episode, but that sure didn't last. Not only is the story not really that good at all and kind of dumb, but at least it's not annoying as these videos. Like I said, what's the point in making a recreation of the video and the pasta if the timing of everything isn't even accurate? Let alone almost everything else about the video. I find it hard to even rank these videos because they all have some level of dumb. I don't know if I should put video number three or video number four at the bottom or video number one. Video number one seems the most accurate, kind of, out of all of these, but at the same time it looks absolutely garbage. And it's almost the opposite for the other ones. The other ones look fine, but they're almost as least accurate as you can go. And in terms of the good videos and quotes, which I, I'd say are video two and video five, one's more accurate and one's more scary but they're mutually exclusive between the videos. Video 2 isn't really all that scary or original at all, but it's accurate. Or at least accurate enough. Video number 5 is kind of scary and it has a bunch of original stuff in it, but it's not accurate at all. I don't know how to rate these. Anyway, fuck this stupid creepypasta. I don't like it and it exhausted me. I, I didn't expect to come out of the end of this video this, like, annoyed, but I am. This isn't even the worst one I've ever read. It's not even the worst one I've read on this channel. If anything, it's the best so far, but I still don't like it. Anyway, my summary for this whole thing can best be described as this. That's it? That's the last episode? That was just a bunch of cheap walk cycles! What a rip! And also, because I don't think people would like it if I didn't mention this, yes, I am aware of that comic in the 30s. If you don't know, there was a comic released in like 1930-something where Mickey thinks Minnie is cheating on him and then he tries to fucking kill himself multiple times. And the suicide aspect wasn't the only bit of similarity. You can see there's also this frame in the comic where he's walking down a street. Most people say that this is the real-life suicide mouse, but I just call this either a massive coincidence, inspiration, or some other third thing, probably, if I gave enough of a shit to care about this for any longer. Okay, so in conclusion, this pasta is fake, these videos are fake, everything is fake, and so are you. Yeah!